The Nevin Hospital, Coolest and Surrey, is where Edward Adamson was the first in this country to start art therapy classes for mental patients. In the supposedly sane world of society, the artist enjoys an expectancy of family life and friendship and some degree of acknowledgement for work produced. The artist is perhaps more conscious of our surrounding environment than most people. By contrast, the schizophrenic paints or sculpts in the confined world of the mental hospital. Rolanda Polonsky is schizophrenic and has been a patient here for 24 years. She was already trained as an artist before her illness and was encouraged to continue drawing, painting and working as a sculptor. Her illness, which has caused her such affliction, has in fact tapped a deep source of mystical vision and human feeling. Music is eternal and for that uh, the harmonies of the drawings must be eternal in the way that you love the eternities. I mean, this is a portrait of one of the eternities. And this is the calculation of the Last Supper. In vision of the cross, not being a man, but a woman. Because, on my modest opinion, it's the woman that has more crosses in the world than the man itself. This is the last judgment done not by paradise, but by the damned. Because at the last moment, as the prophet has told us, also the damned will speak and have to say their word. And it's that which it represents. the portrait of happiness that means solitude and sufferance and that's all just think of solitude when you're always alone and you're always thinking on something you see for instance a lake and mountains or you see a, a line in the horizon or you see even the snow falling down and you're all alone in the world, more or less. You are alone, aren't you? You're born alone, and you go away alone. A girl who has lost her virginity. So she's so surprised by the sensual act of man that she doesn't know what to think or what to do. She is hell and heaven in this moment, thinking back of her own life, of the first years when you don't know and you are an innocent. And suddenly she's grown up. And that is this portrait of this moment. This is simple. God outstretches his arm over his people. And the people are all kind of people, to the right or to the left. As everybody knows God, Everybody knows the people, and the people are always with an infant. You don't see people without infants, because the infant is life. So in this, I have destined the motherhood to be more important than all.
that is the tempest, the lines, every line is a sorrow, and a sorrow together with another one makes a tempest, and the tempest is our own life, it just crucify him forever. I think that all people are broken in all life. Life passes, but the people are broken just the same. And so I represent it with Jesus. Jesus there is broken, and his life has been taken away because, because he's pushed aside. He alone is breathing and covers all the sculpture. This is very simple. Every life, everywhere, under the firmament, uh, even at the times of the prophets, it's full of crosses. A cross means a sorrow, a tear, a smile to cover the sorrow and the tear. And everything is just eternity. On the right, the angels. The angels are only very small in our lives. We pass them, and when they are big, we don't know them. Even the cross haven't made us known to the angels. And there it is, the cross of the angels. All these figures, are human beings because human beings are angels. This is space, the deposition of space, because in reality we are in front now of the last judgment. So everybody must take care to be deposed in one's own soul, like the apostle who deposed Jesus from the cross. And they've dared to do a thing like that, and we still don't know it. It's made like a sketch, basically sketch, for the deposition. Uh, it's very simple. You see, it's only a body. It has no sensual membrane, and has a great big hand here. And when you see it, just look at the lines. One going down, and the other lines going up. For this was heaven, this is heaven, and this is hell. And the hand is the hand of piety that sustains all the universe, which is God. More than Jesus, this is God, this is the post. These are just forms of lines which are really hands. They are sort of hands to mount it in delirium, in insanity.